Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other land. Today, we're going to speak about Manchester United's victory against Crystal Palace. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Manchester United 2, Crystal Palace 1. And when you speak about the nerve-wracking finish, this game was definitely at the top of the list. But before we get into all of that, however, how about something to engage the mind in a less stressful way? Question of the day. That was me. Shut up. So, ladies and gentlemen, this episode's question of the day is quite interesting. And as you would know, we are back to back games against Leeds United in the Premier League. So here is the question of the day that relates to those games. Go. The rivalry between Manchester United and Leeds United roots back to what event in the 15th century? So yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a question. Be sure to find it, slap it in the chat. And by the end of the episode, we will confirm the answer. First question I will ask everyone is regarding Anthony Martial. He was out of the game on Saturday and Eric Ten Hag explained that he had an injury setback against Nottingham Forest in the Carabao Cup where he originally returned. Before the game, that spurred once again a lot of conversations between the fan base and during the watch along, I ran a poll with 56% of people feeling that like United should sell in the summer if the opportunity arises. What's your opinion, first and foremost? And secondly, how do you feel about the situation? This is now his fifth injury of the season, alone having missed 19 games in that time and counting. Let us know in the comments what you're thinking about Anthony Martial. Over to the game now and Manchester United had the perfect start with Bruno Fernandes giving us the lead from the penalty spot. Will Hughes for Crystal Palace had his hand in an unnatural position and as Marcus Rashford attempted to cross in the ball, it cannoned off him, leaving the referee Andre Mariner and those in the VAR room with no choice but to award us with the PK. The crowd at home were buzzing early but still a lot of work to be done. For the rest of the half, I felt United had some good attacking moves, but just couldn't get the second goal. Mm -hmm. Rashford had a couple shots here and there. Fred had a chance near post, even though it was a difficult one, as were most. But we played the ball quickly, took advantage of the spaces in wide areas and in behind. Crystal Palace on the other hand had a frustrating half for the most part, but grew into the proceedings as it went on. A lot of the time being in their position, you go into the dressing room saying there's still a game to get back into. I'm not going to lie, that whole second half was full of drama and it mostly happened in the latter stages of the game. But nothing before the time however, because we doubled our lead and, and looked to be on our way to a straightforward three points. But that doesn't, it rarely happens with Manchester United, right? Never. Marcus Rashford back in the goals. A sweet move with multiple combinations. Anthony, Wambi and Bruno. Casemiro joins the party with a first time pass into the substitute Alejandro Garnacho. He dribbles it over to the other side of the pitch where Luke Shaw can receive and bless Marcus Rashford with a ball across the ground. Perfectly placed just for him to guide it past Guaita. If you look at the reverse fixture, we didn't get that second goal and ended up being punished by a wonderful strike from Michael Elise at the end. This wasn't going to be the same scenario, right? Now this is where all of the Mazzolini starts. A little challenge takes place out wide with Jeffrey Schlupp and Anthony who ends up falling down that dreaded brick slope at Old Trafford. Schlupp then goes on to stay him down like he just posterized him in the NBA Finals. A whole scuffle breaks out between both teams and the control was absolutely lost.
out of that scuffle, however, it was revealed that VAR was checking for a potential red card. And on the video, on the video, we saw multiple replays of our very own Casemiro having both hands around the neck of Will Hughes. It didn't seem to be with any malicious content. Intent. Intent. Did I say content? Intent. But but we can agree that it was basically a red card. <laughs> yeah, pot potentially. Potentially, okay. But let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know what you think in the comments first and foremost. But he was eventually shown a red card. Three game suspension. And later on, we also saw Jordan Ayu doing the same thing to Frederick. So now people were asking, why VAR didn't pick that up and punish the player accordingly as well? Very strange decision indeed. Inconsistencies again. Hotel sh It's a no free promo. Bam. Listen. Ladies and gents. CM. The drama didn't stop there, did it? Mm -mm. Six minutes after Cass's dismissal. The man who started everything. Yes, Jeffrey. Shut up. Got Palace back into the game. And that set us up for a frantic final 15 minutes or so. Crystal Palace applied pressure and came close a couple of times. I can't lie. Lissandro Martinez, remember, had a clutch block as Eze looked to strike the ball in from close range. He had a couple goals at it. The other one just went across the face of goal. Mm. Mark Gay also had a great chance saved by David De Gea, who has to wait another couple of games at least to level Peter Schmeichel's clean sheet record for Man United. We survived the storm. But now it's time to travel further forward into it. Before we reach the latter stages of this video, me and CM would like to pay our respects to those who lost their lives due to being a part of the Munich air disaster on the 6th of February 1958. Today is the 65th anniversary of that tragic, tragic incident. And once again, we would like to share our loves to those who were affected at the time and to this day. As the massive flag says on the image, will never die. And I know as Manchester United fans, we do have our differences on a day to day, on a weekly basis. But in the end of the day, we are all connected to this wonderful football club and that will never change. Gonna keep it short and sweet today. It's time for the question of the day. Clip. The rivalry between Manchester United and Leeds United roots back to what event in the 15th century? If you talk here, like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, you respect the twin. Now back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat. Question time! Question time! Question time! How did everybody fare in this episode's question of the day? Let's find out right here, right now. So the answer to the question is the War of the Roses. Which, long story short, was a fight between the House of Lancaster, the Red Rose, and the House of York, the White Rose, for the English throne. You see a little theme there between the colours. Uh -huh. A whole load of unscrupulous activities went on after that. And I'll just leave it there before it becomes a full-blown history lesson. What I will do, however, is leave a link to the website where I learned about it in the description. But if you got the answer correct based off your memory, slap a one in the chat. If you use Google, slap a true in the chat. But don't be ashamed to use Google. Trust us. But if you didn't even bother to answer the question, I'm struggling to even look at you. Slap a free in the chat. At least slap a free in the chat and tell us what you thought about the game in the comments. But next time, get involved, ladies and gents. It's a bit of fun Come between on. you and I, between CM and I and you and everybody else in the comments in the chat with the community but anyway people listen thank you for reaching the end of the video be sure to first and foremost drop a like subscribe if you're new share to your friends and frenemies and click the notification bell to know when we upload when this channel goes live speaking of live on wednesday 8 p.m uk time cm will be back with a stay united watch alone for manchester united versus Leeds so be there or be square ladies and gentlemen I want you to have a wonderful rest of the day
And until the next time, we'll see you a lot sooner.